हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू लाइक माई वीडियोज इफ यू लाइक माई वीडियोज प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल Direction is given for question number twenty to twenty-two. The given graph shows the number of printers sold by Priyans Computer Mart over five months. Study the graph and answer the following questions. This is a bar graph. Horizontal line shows months and vertical line shows number of printers sold. Question number twenty. In which month was there the maximum number of printers sold? In this bar graph. Height of the bar in month February is maximum that is 24 it means number of printers sold in February is 24 which is maximum hence option C is correct February question number 21 if each printer costs 250 rupees then how much less amount did priyans computer mart collect in may than in april Number of printers sold in May, twelve. Number of printers sold in April, twenty. Number of printers sold in April, twenty. Cost of each printer equal to two hundred fifty rupees. Hence, twenty printers equal to two hundred fifty into twenty. That is equal to five thousand rupees. Money collected in April, five thousand rupees. Number of printers sold in May, twelve, and each printer cost two hundred fifty rupees. Hence, money collected in May, twelve into two hundred fifty, that is equal to three thousand rupees. Clearly, money collected in April is more than money collected in May. Hence, their difference, five thousand minus three thousand, that is equal to two thousand. Hence, less money collected in May than April equal to two thousand rupees. Option A is correct. Question number twenty-two. What was the total sale of printers for Priyans Computer Mart during the five months? Question number twenty-two. What was the total sale of printers for Priyans Computer Mart during the five months? Printers are sold in January eighteen. February twenty four, March sixteen, in April twenty, and in May twelve. Hence, total number of printers sold in all these five months eighteen plus twenty four plus sixteen plus twenty plus twelve that is equal to ninety. Option A is correct. Ninety. Direction is given for question number twenty three to twenty five. The given graph shows the number of visitors visit to a museum on five consecutive days in November. Study the graph and answer the following questions. This is a bar graph. Horizontal line shows days and vertical line shows number of visitors. Question number twenty-three. On which day three hundred more visitors visited than on Monday? There are three hundred visitors. Visited on Monday. Question is asked: Three hundred more visitors visited than on Monday. It means three hundred plus three hundred equal to six hundred. Six hundred visitors visited on which day? Clearly, it is Wednesday. Six hundred visitors visited on Wednesday. Option D is correct. Question number twenty-four. How many total visitors visited on Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday all together? Number of visitors visited on Tuesday five hundred, on Thursday five hundred, on Friday two hundred. Hence, number of visitors visited on all three days five hundred plus five hundred plus two hundred that is equal to one thousand two hundred. Option B is correct. Twelve thousand. Question number twenty-five. How many less visitors visited on Wednesday than on Saturday? Number of visitors visited on Saturday seven hundred. On Wednesday six hundred. The difference seven hundred minus six hundred equal to one hundred. 
Hence, option A is correct. 100 less visitors visited on Wednesday than on Saturday. Achiever section. Question number 26. The given pictograph shows the number of sea shells collected by five friends. Study the graph carefully and answer the following questions. This is a pictograph. Each candle represents five sea shells. This is the key. Question is asked. If total number of sea shells collected is 92, then how many sea shells were collected by Anya? Key is given. Each candle represents four sea shells. Hence, five candle represents five into four, 20 sea shells. Tarun collected 20 sea shells. Similarly, three candles represent four into three, 12 sea shells. Kabya collected 12 sea shells. Six candles equal to six into four, 24 sea shells. Kunal collected 24 sea shells. Five candles represent 5 into 4, 20 sea cells. Hence, Amon collected 20 sea cells. But it is given total collection by 5 friends is 92. Sea cells collected by Anya is not given. Counting the number of sea cells collected by 4 friends, Tarun, Kavya, Kunal and Amon equal to 20 plus 12 plus 24 plus 20 that is equal to 76. But total number of sea cells collected by 5 friends 92. Hence Anya collected 92 minus 76 that is equal to 16. 76 is sea cells collected by remaining 4 friends. And 92 is total number of sea cells collected by all 5 friends. Their difference 16, which is number of sea cells collected by Anya. Question number 24. The given graph shows the number of visitors visited the zoo during a four months period. This is a double bar graph. Yellow color represents adult and green color represents children. Horizontal line shows months and vertical line shows number of visitors. Question is asked, in which month is there 1, 1 by 5 times as many visitors as in September? Number of visitors in September, children 360, adult 240. Here there are 5 small divisions. Hence, number of visitors in September 240 plus 360 equal to 600. Question is asked, 1, 1 by 5 times as many visitors as in September. It means 1, 1 by 5 of 600. Converting mixed fraction into improper fraction, 6 by 5 into 600. Of 600. Of meaning into 5 से cancel करने से 120 6 into 120 equal to 720 we need 720 visitors visited in which month that is November looking towards the graph children 420 and adult 300 there are some 720 hence Option B is correct. November. Question number 28. The given table shows the number of people who joined a basketball club in 2018 and 2019. Question is asked. What was the difference in number of females who joined the basketball club in 2018 and 2019? In 2018, number of females, women and girls. That is 4809 plus 2405. That is equal to 7214. Similarly, females in 2019, 
women 6408 and girl 1807 total number of females in 2019 6408 plus 1807 that is equal to 8215 clearly number of females joined in basketball club in 2019 is greater than in 2018. Their difference 8215 minus 7214 equal to 1001. Hence, difference between number of females joined in basketball club in 2018 and 2019 equal to 1001. Option C is correct. Question number 29. The given graph shows the sales of a shop from Monday to Friday. If sales made on Saturday was 1, 3 by 4 times the total sale made on Thursday and Friday together, then how much sales was made on Saturday? Sales on Thursday, 1,500. Sales on Friday, 2,500. Total sale on Thursday and Friday equal to 1,500 plus 2,500 that is equal to 4,000 rupees. Question is asked, sales on Saturday was 1, 3 by 4 times the total sale made on Thursday and Friday together. That is 1, 3 by 4 times of 4,000. 1, 3 by 4 equal to 7 by 4. Of 4,000, it means into 4,000. That is equal to 7,000 rupees. Cancelling 4,000 by 4 equal to 1,000. 1,000 into 7 equal to 7,000 rupees. Hence, option D is correct. Sales made on Saturday was 7,000 rupees. Question number 30. The given bar graph shows the savings in rupee of 5 children. This is a bar graph. Horizontal line shows savings in rupee and vertical line shows name of five children. Question is asked. Rizwan needs to save another task so that he has twice as much money as Mohit. Looking towards the graph, Mohit has 200 rupees. Twice as money as Mohit equal to 200 into 2 that is 400 rupees. It means Rizwan need 400 rupees but but his saving is 350 rupees. It means more money he needs 400 minus 350 that is equal to 50 rupees. This is Mohit saving and this is twice of Mohit saving. This is Rizwan savings. He needs more money that is 400 minus 350 equal to 50 rupees. Rizwan's need 50 rupees more so that his savings will equal to twice as much money as Mohit's saving. Option A is correct.